I want to show you how you can utilize a pastel eyeshadow palette like this, or even if you have a, a, a palette with a couple of pastel shades in it, but how you can utilize pastel eyeshadows to create a more muted but colorful everyday eyeshadow look and something really, really easy. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So we are doing a very simple, easy eyeshadow tutorial, what I have on my eyes right now, so like spoiler alert. I decided to do a pastel eyeshadow look today because Alter Ego has released a new eyeshadow palette that is very similar to the Natasha Denona pastel palette. It's called the Dream Gazer eyeshadow palette. Like, mm, we need an eyeshadow tutorial to go along with this new release. Before we get into this video, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions and honest reviews, as well as tutorials. And if you guys like content like that, please consider subscribing. So let's get into this tutorial. So I pulled out the first pastel eyeshadow palette that came to mind that's in my collection. I actually don't have a lot of pastel eyeshadow palettes. They're very like few and far between in the beauty space. And the one that I pulled out is the Garden by Juvia's. I've talked about this one a couple of times on my channel. It's just like a hidden gem eyeshadow palette. It retails for like I want to say $25 from Juvia's Place, but it is an all pastel eyeshadow palette. You have purples, you have pinks and oranges, you have some yellows, and then you also have some greens in here as well. It is a beautiful pastel eyeshadow palette. If you have this eyeshadow palette or if you have something very, very similar, pull it out because we are going to do an eyeshadow tutorial doing just something very simple, easy, every day. I want to show you how you can utilize a pastel eyeshadow palette like this, or even if you have a, a, a palette with a couple of pastel shades in it, but how you can utilize pastel eyeshadows to create a more muted but colorful everyday eyeshadow look and something really, really easy. Let's start by priming my lids. We're going to use the YC Collection Eye Primer. So we're just going to pat the primer in real quick, create a nice tacky base. And then I am just going to pat a little bit of loose powder over my lids so that we have, like it still has a base to stick to, but it's not like super sticky tacky. I'm going to use this little powder puff and the Huda Beauty. And we're just going to like lightly tap out the lids. Let's take a look at this eyeshadow palette real quick. It's just a pops of purple, pink, and orange, yellows, and greens. So we could do like a full yellow look, we could do a full pink look, we could do a purple look, and it does have some more like pigmented shades down in the bottom here, which I find that's very useful, especially if you like just a little bit more of color. A simple pinky purple pastel eyeshadow look. It's something that's very spring-like, very everyday. Green can be everyday too, but purples and pinks I find translate a lot better on the eyes than a lot of other shades if you're looking for something that's more everyday. And this palette has so many beautiful shades, but we're going to use Gardenia. Gardenia is a skin tone shade, and we're just going to lightly diffuse this all over the lid with my Singe Beauty EOS 3. All right. I'm going to take Lilac U, which is this purple shade right here, and we are not going to tap off the excess. We're actually just going to very lightly with the EO3 still pack this into the crease like so. And then once we get the pigment on the eye, we're going to blend it out just a little bit like that. Such a pretty wash of color. This lilac shade actually has a tiny bit of like a pink undertone in it as well. So it'll pair really nicely with like a pink eyeshadow. If you were to pair this with a green one, it might muddy a little bit on your eye. So keep that in mind. I, I honestly feel like purples are such an easy color to like transition into an everyday look because they can kind of translate as neutral or you can go super colorful with them as well. We're going to take Panny. Panny. This is a pink shade. And I am going to tap off that because this is a little bit more pigmented. But we're going to put this on the lid. We're going to use like a tapping motion to get this like really pigmented on the eye first. And we are using a Singe Beauty EO2 to do this. 
If you don't tap off the brush, it actually gives you a little bit more pigment on the eye and it's not really a wash of color. If you tap off the brush, you get a wash of color. So it really depends on what exactly you're looking for in pigmentation. If you want something that's just a little bit more of a wash and not so much pigment, you can tap, tap off the brush. But you do have a nice gradient from the pink to the lilac-y purple, and those colors are really nice together. So we could stop here, put on like a shimmer shade on the inner corner and be done. I want to use another shade out of this eyeshadow palette, something that's gonna be a little bit more poppy and it's gonna really bring to life like the outer corner. Now again, if you want a wash of color, you could just add a shimmer shade from like the purple red. We will be using a, a shimmer shade at some point, but I still wanna use the mattes. So I'm actually gonna go in with Sweet Lilac still on the EO2 from Singe Beauty. And we're going to pack this on the outer corner. We're gonna do a tapping motion first. Tap, 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 tap just on the outer corner. And we did not tap off the brush because like I said, pastels are not a very pigmented formula. And if you want a little bit more pigment, it is best to just go in with a tapping motion. As you can see, this shade is just a little bit more pigmented. It has a little bit more depth to it. And you can just really tap this into the lid. We're just focusing this on the outer corner. As you start to blend, it'll also diffuse away that color just a little bit. So if you're finding that it's a little bit too pigmented, when you start to blend it out, it will diffuse the color quite a bit. So this is what the eye is looking like just with these three shades on. It's really pretty. It's still very everyday. It's not like too over the top. It's not too pigmented. And honestly, this to me is just such a beautiful gradient from a pink to a purple with a really nice outer corner. And you will also see that I'm just diffusing that into the lid and into the crease just a little bit so you get like continuity with the eyeshadow look. We have a Singe Beauty E01. This is just a flat brush but I love using it for the inner corner and I'm going to wet it down and then we're going to use some foil shades in this eyeshadow palette. I really like this shade blooming right here. It's a purple shade and it's very lilac-y, so it has a pinkish undertone to it. We're gonna use this and place this on the inner corner of the lid. And you'll see it just really pops and brings the pink to life. Now, Juvia's Place has like really pigmented foils anyway, and they're typically really easy to work with. So we are just putting this solely like on the inner corner and then diffusing it into the inner lid so that it, it gradients into that purpley pink. Right now I'm just using like a tapping motion to really get this pigmented and onto the lid and then using a sweeping motion to blend it into the rest of the pink. We're going to use a Singe Beauty EO4. We're going to shade the lower lash line. We're going to do a mix between Peony and Sweet Lilac. So we're gonna get this on the lower lash line and just like blend. I love this brush because it is the perfect width and the perfect like compactness to be able to like really shade the lower lash line. Now, if you're finding that your line isn't super crisp here, you can take your little velour puff and like tap away. Pastels are easier to do this with because they are not so pigmented and it just kind of like lifts the color off of your cheek and it cleans up that line just a little bit. So now we are going to take the EO1 again. We're going to use this shade right here called Sunshine. This is actually a yellow shade, but it's very like duochromatic. So I'm thinking like popping this right here on the inner corner and then bringing it down into the lower lash line. We're just gonna pop the eye just a little bit. And you'll notice how it just like lightened the inner corner just a little bit. You don't have to use that specific shade. If you have a highlight that you like to pop in to the inner corner and just put on the lower lash line a little bit, you can do that as well. There's some really great like highlights that you can use. That's all we are doing for the eyeshadow look. Very simple, very easy, very everyday, like very playful with color, but not like too over the top. So if you guys are looking for something that's like good for work, this is, this is a really good eyeshadow. I'm gonna put my mascara on and then we'll be right back. We are back with a beautiful pastel eyeshadow look. Very easy, very simple, very everyday. If you guys like eyeshadow tutorials like this, definitely leave me a comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts. 
If you guys have a pastel palette in your collection, definitely pull it out, follow along to this tutorial. You don't necessarily need the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. You can have any pastel palette with very similar shades and do this eyeshadow look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys consider subscribing before you go, and I hope I get to see you again. Bye!